I'd like to introduce our friends from Panasonic, and they'll show you some mobile devices that they've put out that run these platforms, and we'll talk a little bit about security and cleanliness. So here's Greg Davidson from Panasonic to take over. Since I'm from Texas and I'm big and I'm loud, I don't think I need a, a handheld. But uh, well, a bunch of white look at all this great stuff in Intos, <laughs> including a legal discussion. Kind of Thank you, Mark. Uh, my name is Greg Davidson. I am the Executive Business Development Manager f with uh, Panasonic Solutions Company. And uh, first off, I really want to thank uh, the folks at MedSphere and the folks at Intel for having us today and, and helping us, uh, allowing us to be a part of this. Uh, they've pulled together a number of great speakers today, and I will not claim to be one of them. And I know that after lunch, I'm seeing some eyelids getting a little heavy, seeing some people. Uh, check their words with friends, anything like that, so I will try to keep things very short and sweet. I don't have to tell you guys, but healthcare is different. You know, you guys are different than a school, or different from an architect's office. You have different needs when it comes to IT. Most importantly, you're talking about a mission-critical environment. You know, you've got people moving around from place to place, caregivers moving around, patients moving around. And most importantly, when you roll out applications like MedSphere, all your data is electronic, and when that data becomes electronic and it becomes so ubiquitous in what you do, it becomes mission critical to the work that you're able to provide the, to the care and the quality that they can give to the patients. And when that data becomes mission critical, the hardware that you need to run that data on becomes mission critical as well. And that's where we can come in. Healthcare requires a number of things when it comes to IT. It requires quality. You, know, you guys are dealing with systems where people's lives are at stake where the quality of care is at stake, and you need a higher quality of device. It also requires reliability and uptime, whereas 99% uptime may be great for a school, or may be great for an architect's office, or anything like that. When they have downtime in a patient environment, you know, you, you're running a different quality. You're running with people's lives are at stake, et cetera. So 99% uptime isn't, isn't nearly good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Healthcare also requires a higher level of durability. As we said, patients are moving around, people are moving around. Things are going to get dropped, things are going to get spilled, things are going to get broken. And it requires a different type of device to handle that kind of environment. We don't have to, need to talk about the level of security that healthcare requires above a lot of other different uh, enterprises. Mark touched on a lot of this himself. We also talked about uh, sanitizability. Mark talked about when you take any kind of device from one patient environment to another patient environment, you risk the challenge and the, and the uh, possibility of taking germs from that one patient environment to the next patient environment. So you also need IT that can be sanitized, that can be cleaned. Battery life is also very important as well. Mobility means nothing if devices have to be plugged into a wall all day long or they have to be sitting on a shelf. You want to have environments and you want to have technology and workflow that fits with the caregivers and not make those caregivers change what they do to fit the power requirements of their technology. And then, of course, you want all this with, to be about a half a pound, be nice and lightweight, which, of course, is a bit of exaggeration, but caregivers are carrying a lot of things around with them. And in order to be very mobile, they need lightweight devices as well. And then from your perspective, in the IT department, and the financial department, you want all this to come at a nice ROI. And with all those requirements, you're not going to get a kind of technology that meets all those needs by buying it off the shelf at Best Buy. And that's where we come in. Panasonic has been building products for many, many years. We are a $70 billion company. We've been around since 1918. We've built a lot of great technologies. And the key to that is actually building technologies. Unlike a lot of other companies, we don't outsource what we do. We think a critical piece of what we do that makes us different is the fact that we build everything that we sell. And we think if you're going to deliver a high-quality product, it starts with actually building a high-quality product. And this is one of the things that really sets us apart from our competition. And with this is a, you know, PC Magazine does an annual survey every year when they talk to 
users of a number of different devices. And one of the things they ask about is their failure rates. How often do your products go down? How often are they out of your users' hands? How often do they require repair? The industry average, usually from year in and year out, is always around 25%. Our failure rates are less than 3%. And we think this is very important, and it's very related to the fact that we build everything ourselves. We don't build products for the consumer environment. We don't build them products that, that sell in a retail environment. We build products for environments and industries and governments that require the highest level of reliability. And this is what we do. Now, if you're like any other IT department that I know of, you've got a lot of things going on, on your plate right now. And as Wendy from Lutheran talked about, there's a lot of pieces in the puzzle. You've got networking, you've got software, you've got training, you've got support. And we realize that hardware is just one of those pieces of the puzzle. But what we can do is come help you bring a more end-to-end -end solution and do a lot more for you, whether that's handling your images, handling the deployments, providing the support, or the full life cycle management of your hardware. We can help provide a lot of those things for you. So at the end of the day, your caregivers can focus on their patients. You can do all those things that you have to do on a daily basis. And what we can do at Panasonic is worry about making sure your hardware works. As an example of this, one of the things that we do at Panasonic is make end-to-end -end display solution. So whatever you're trying to do in your facility, if you're trying to show any kind of image, whether that's in an operating room, whether that's in your boardroom, whether that's in the radiology department, whether that's digital signage or wayfinding, or if you have a big auditorium, we can handle that, not only the hardware, but the IT portion of it, whether that's managing the content as well. We can handle all that for you. But I wanna talk about a little bit today is our Panasonic Toughbook line of mobile devices. Because when we talk about EMR and we talk about needing hardware to run on it, this is what we can bring to the table. Whether you're looking to put something in your EMS systems, whether you're talking about home health nurses, whether you're looking at mobile users in your facility, or whether you just wanted to put something on cows. The good thing about us is that we have a very broad lineup of products. There's no such thing as a one size fits all solution. Doctors are different than nurses, who are different than home health nurses, who are different than phlebotomists. And even if you have two of the same kinds of users, depending on what software they run, depending on how your facility is set up, they're gonna have different needs. And so what we can do is not take one product, push it on every user, every environment, and say, you need to change your workflow to fit this device. We have plenty of different solutions, so regardless of what you're trying to do, we can have something that's going to fit. Whether that's a convertible tablet, whether that's a, a slate-type device, whether that's something with a large screen, whether it's a small handheld, we've got all those different solutions to meet your needs. And what we typically find is the best deployments are those solutions where they fit a number of these solutions. Do they roll out these to a nurse, these to a doctor, these to the home health nurses? And what we provide as Panasonic is we can give you that one throat to choke, and you can provide all these solutions from us to your one source. Two examples I want to talk about. One is the Toughbook H2, and these products are over here. Feel free to take a look at them if you haven't gotten a chance to do so. Pick them up, feel them out. The H2 is a mobile clinical assistant which was designed in cooperation with Intel. It's a great all-in-one device. It's a touch screen. It's also a tablet. It's very ergonomic. It's highly sealed. So if you're working in an infectious control sensitive environment, it can be easily sanitized. It also has the option of an integrated barcode scanner. So it's great for a BCMA uh, deployment. You don't have to worry about carrying a computer and a barcode scanner. It's all-in-one and it runs all the uh, Intel Core i5, i5 processor. Uh, and that's a great environment if you're looking for something to be mobile in a facility. But a lot of people are still gonna need their keyboards. As many people that come to us today, they're looking for tablets at the end of the day, most of their applications are designed for still keyboard entry. A lot of people are still going with our Toughbook C1, our convertible tablet. This is actually our primary seller in the healthcare space. It's actually the world's lightest 12.1 inch convertible, but at the same time, it's spill resistant. It's got dual hot swappable batteries. It'll give you about 10 hours of battery life. You can use it as a tablet when you want. You can use it as a touchscreen when you want. It's gonna be there through, for you throughout the day. 
but we're not wanting a company to rest on our laurels. And actually, very soon, we'll be announcing and releasing our new tablet. The idea is really to provide a solution that overcomes a lot of the challenges that a lot of consumer products aren't able to provide for an enterprise level environment that you're looking for. Whether that's the durability, whether that's having the ports you want, whether it's having access to the battery or the IT controls that you need. This is what we're going after with our, our new device that will be launching very soon. It's designed specifically for those environments that we target, not the consumers, not the uh, retail environment. It's for those enterprises and government clients that need something more reliable, something more durable, and something they can control more, and not designed for this guy. So in the end, what we can do is make sure that you have the tools and the services to make sure that your caregivers are happy and you guys can continue to be the superstars that you are. So with that, I thank you for your time.